Hey guys, it's Ian Productions, and today I will be talking about one of the most skilled players in the USFL today. He was around two drives from winning the championship when unfortunately he fell to injury. And this player is Case Cookus. Case was born in Thousand Oaks, California, and he attended Thousand Oaks High School for his um, high school football career. Eventually, he would commit to Northern Arizona University. As a true freshman, Cookus would start for the NAU Lumberjacks and throw 3,111 yards and 37 touchdowns, which was enough to win him Freshman of the Year and the winner of the Jerry Rice Award. In the season after his freshman one in 2016, he would tear his shoulder in, against Eastern Washington in the fourth game of the season. Against the New Mexico Highlands, he tied a school record of seven touchdown passes in a single game. For the season, he threw 1,137 passing yards and 13 touchdowns and one interception. The reason that his stats were so declined was because he tore a shoulder, and therefore he couldn't play as much. In the 2017 season, Cookus would make a comeback, and his best game was when he completed 35 for 46 passes for 406 yards and four touchdowns against Cal Poly. This is that infamous season where he was ejected for targeting, which is one of the only times that a quarterback has been ejected for the targeting penalty. In the 2018 season, Cookus would again hurt his shoulder while trying to run the ball. He finished the season for 24 passes, completing 24 passes on 34 attempts for 265 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions, including an 84-yard strike to Emmanuel Butler in the season opener. His stats were again declined because he couldn't play that much due to a shoulder injury for the second time. In his fifth season at NAU in 2019, he would have quite efficient stats, completing 290 passes for 4,095 yards, 31 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Cookus would go undrafted in the 2019 NFL Draft, but he would sign with the New York Giants as an undrafted free agent on April 28, 2020. He was unfortunately waived in August 2, 2020. He would then sign with the Broncos, Vikings, and Raiders, but he would also be waived by all three of those teams. He would then try his luck in the CFO, where he signed with the Edmonton Elks, but he was released five days later. Cookus would then be drafted in the 12th round of the 2022 USFL draft by the Philadelphia Stars. Originally, he was intended to back up Brian Scott. Then, Cookus would get his chance to start when Brian Scott got injured Sunday, May 1st, in a game against the New Jersey Generals. Brian Scott would be out for the rest of the season, which gave Cookus a chance to start. Cookus would then lead his team to a 6-4 and four record, which was enough to get them in the playoffs, and they eventually upset the New Jersey Generals, who were 9-1 and one at the time and the projected winner of that game. Then, just like that, the Stars would be in the USFL Championship, facing the also 9-1 and one and the also projected winner, the Birmingham Stallions. The game started off kind of slow for the Stars, who found themselves down 20 to 9 at the beginning of the half. But then the Stars gained a rhythm, a lot mainly thanks to Cookus, who had a great second half showing, and eventually they were up 23 to 20. But then, with 8:25 left to go in the game, Case Cookus got sacked and broke his leg. He was then carted off the field, and his backup KJ Costello threw a pick six to um, end the game effectively. Case Cookus's stats for the game was 17 for 29 passing, 222 yards, and three touchdowns. I am in full belief that if Case Cookus hadn't broken his leg, the Philadelphia Stars would have been the USFL champions. And so far, that is the whole career of Case Cookus. Now, this, with the next season of the USFL coming up, the Stars have a couple of options, but I am in full belief that they should keep starting Cookus. And maybe they should trade away Brian Scott for a pick or something. I'm not really sure, but. Cookus seems to be the guy for the Philadelphia Stars 